Hello and welcome to Bahama Sands Unit 1207 here in North Myrtle Beach. Uh, we are about to go in and take a tour of this three bedroom, three full bath oceanfront condo on what is next to the top floor of this building. So let's turn this around. You're seeing, if you happen to see any um, plastic or coverings behind me there, they are doing, they are getting ready for the uh, summer season uh, types of updates uh, and freshening up of the building. And so you may see that along the way, but let's get started. I'll turn this around. And first off, I wanna show you these beautiful tile floors right off the bat here. And then as you come in, you immediately have a bedroom to the right. Nice laminate flooring here. Uh, this one, I would say a queen size bed, nice size closet. Uh, this uh, building started as a um, condo tell. So it's very possible that the furniture you are seeing here uh, came with uh, when this was the original purchase. So if it kind of maybe has a little bit of a um, hotel furniture feel, that might be the reason why. I do like that they have added the nice ceiling fan uh, above here. And then you've got a connecting bath here, which is very nice to have. Full bath with your stand-up shower on this one. They are about to be ready. Nice updated light fixtures there, very pretty. Uh, they are about to have someone check in, so I am gonna do this as quickly as I can. Now to the left, we have another bedroom. This one larger, obviously. You've got another ceiling fan and your two beds. Little desk area, which I like. And then TV stand here. So you've got some room. Uh, if this is going to be a primary residence, to change that up if you want and have uh, you know a dresser or some bigger pe pieces of furniture if you need them. Again, a nice closet. And then we have here another full bath. This one with tub and shower combo. Looks like that plumbing fixture is updated. And here is your vanity. Again, nice tile floors here. All right, now we get to go down the hallway and see a very nice sized kitchen for a condo. Track lighting up here. And what I also like, I don't know if you're noticing, so the hallway obviously has a lower ceiling height, so it is nice to be able to have, you know, raised that and allow for that lighting. Great cabinetry, honestly, for condos. You really don't normally see all of this. And uh, obviously dishwasher, GE appliances. If you wanted to get a bigger refrigerator, uh, you could do it both by width and by height, which is nice. Your double doors across from the kitchen. That's gonna have your um, HVAC, and a stackable washer dryer, but, but large ones, quite honestly. I'll close these doors here. We'll continue. I'm giving you just a glimpse, a glimpse. Very nice space for dining, and you also have your bar stools here. <laughs> Forgive the shot of my purse in that uh, some people are barstool people, some people are not. So a lot of people think about uh, creating some, some cabinetry there to put in some type of storage. Although you have a lot of cabinetry up here, you don't have a pantry. Uh, so a lot of times people will think of just, you know, finding a way to close that space in. So you, so you do have some additional storage. Really decent sized dining table. Your family living area. Yes, that is a glimpse of that beautiful, beautiful ocean. Nice size television here. Love how this is angled so you do get a little bit more space in uh, the living area for that extra chair there. Again, this is big furniture, so I believe you could, uh, you have some potential to do some things. Here's the um, wall that goes again to the front just to kind of give you perspective of where we are in the condo. 
Again, possible putting a piece of furniture there. And then your third and final is your uh, master or owner suite here. They've put up the TV there on that angled wall, which is a nice touch. Again, these are these have got to be new uh, ceiling fans. You've got your laminate flooring. Very decent closet. Signs of, of the old condo tell you do have a safe in your closet. And then a nice double vanity here with a beautiful, beautiful shower. I think there's an extra light. Let me see if I can, there we go. With the river rock, very, very beautiful and very spacious. And I'll turn to come back out here. Obviously you can see you have access from here to the balcony, but we'll head out the main way where you will get to meet my friend Sylvia, who is enjoying the ocean while I am out here doing some work. Look at this, the stunning Atlantic Ocean. I'll give you again a perspective of the balcony itself. You've got your two chairs here. And as we step out, here comes my friend Sylvia. Hi! <laughs> What I like about this balcony is that it is a little bit deeper over on this side here, and that's gonna allow for more of a table and chairs, have a bite to eat kind of a setting, as opposed to just, you know, the couple of chairs. And, and uh, so this is nice. You can actually enjoy some time out here with more than just two people. Look at that gorgeous coastline. Yeah, it's a terrible job to have to come out here and uh, take videos for prospective uh, buyers of the beach life, their castle in the sand, as we like to say. And as we turn down here, this would be, of course, looking south. Uh, our coastline is unique in that curvature that you see there. And gosh, on such a clear day like today, we are seeing all the way down to Pauly's Island area. It's just really a stunning, stunning day. Uh, this is a fairly new building. So what I really like is instead of having any type of um, uh, wrought iron or anything for, uh, or not even wrought iron, but the balconies uh, having that tinted uh, glass there, which is uh, got a fantastic uh, rating for protection in terms of high winds. Uh, so it really is uh, the new way that that's being done, as well as uh, the types of glass sliding doors that you see here, again, are uh, in many ways rated for, you know, hurricane proof. So it's really nice to know that you've got some of those updated things here in this particular unit. Again, this is 1207 Bahama Sands. And uh, hey, I'm thinking this is not a bad view. Would you agree? If you have any questions about this unit, give me a call. My name is Celia again, and my number is 843-321-9646. Again, 843-321-9646. Let's make Myrtle Beach home.